I own two restaurants in our community. And this June, I wrote a 202-word Facebook post about gun violence in America and why we must together say no more. But all anyone heard or saw was one line. If you own or condone the ownership of assault rifles for private use, you may no longer enter either of my restaurants because all I want to teach my children is love. So I post this on both pages at 11.30 at night and go to sleep. But the internet doesn't sleep. So by the next morning, I had been bullied and harassed and threatened, both online and on the phone. And just as quickly, the media arrived, and I had to ask myself, is this going to hurt my business? Are my children at risk? Are my employees at risk? Do they actually know where I live? And this wasn't the first time I had done this. After Newtown, I had made a similar post. But I had recently opened my second restaurant, and the trolls were so cruel, and I was too vulnerable, and I took it down. But this time, I knew I was staying. I was in college in Boulder, Colorado, when Columbine happened. I was a young mother when Newtown happened, and the threat of gun violence has entered my own domestic life. And my restaurant had just thrown the dance party of the year to celebrate Portland Pride when Orlando happened. So this post, the day after Orlando, was all I could do to shout, enough! As a mother, as a restaurant owner, living in a small town in Maine, enough! And in Maine, it was June, the beginning of tourist season, and everyone was asking me if I was afraid it was going to hurt my business. Was the fake Yelp review claiming I hit somebody in the genitals with a fish carcass going to actually impact my bottom line? <laughs> and I had considered it, briefly and after the fact. For as long as I've owned restaurants, I've talked to my employees about staying away from politics and religion. It just doesn't play well at a bar. But to me, this was neither. This is a human rights issue. And I realized that I've been speaking through my restaurants for a long time. If I, as a business older, owner, buy local, put sustainable food on our menu, pay my staff fair wages, how is advocating for the safety of my family and my employees and my patrons any different? My business doesn't buy a certain brand of strawberries because it mistreats their pickers. My business doesn't believe civilians need assault rifles, period. And I make a point to know where my money is going because it's valuable to me and it's valuable to all of us. There's power there. And I support you making a decision where your money goes. And if you want to join the Boycott, Grace, and Foresight Tavern Facebook page, great. I could do without the fake reviews and reservations, but I'm on to A.American Party of Sticks with a special note to Sucky Bag of Dicks. <laughs> because <laughs> while the hateful messages are scary and a lot of them are truly unnerving, they've impacted my bottom line not at all. Zero. <laughs> uh, And it's the phone calls and the letters and even the respectful conversations I've had with people who don't agree with me and the community of people who've come in to both my restaurants and stood by me has far outweighed the hate, both emotionally and financially. I don't have to stay silent because I run a business. My voice is not mute because I serve you the food that you order. My position on the lack of meaningful gun control legislation in this country is no different now than before my post. People just know about it. My restaurants are a reflection of my values. And myself and the team of people I assemble craft the experience past the patron every day. From the paint colors to the place settings, you are dining in my house. And in this day and age, transparency is almost mandatory. And I can take it a step further. My restaurants are part of my community, and I have an obligation to participate in its growth and prosperity. And yes, that translates into sales tax revenue, but it also means taking care of each other. It means providing a safe, warm space for comfort and celebration. And to be genuine in that, I have to stand up for what I believe strengthens 
my community. I can do that. You can do that. And I really believe that your community will show up and they'll be standing there right with you. Thank you.